You ready? We're ready. This past summer, our national political conversation was consumed by debt ceilings and deficit reduction. Our leaders in Washington, D.C. were single-mindedly focused on cutting spending and cutting services. Issues of social justice and economic equality sat neglected and ignored on the political sidelines. The Occupy encampments that have appeared across the country, including Occupy Los Angeles, have changed this one-sided conversation. The movement has awakened the country's conscience. It has given voice to those who have not been heard, to the middle-class families who are struggling to make ends meet, to the students who have graduated into a job market short on prospects and possibility, to the homeowners who through no fault of their own have fallen on hard times and have lost their homes and life savings. To all of the people who are afraid that the American dream is growing more and more elusive. Now after this initial success, the movement is now at a crossroads. It's time for Occupy LA to move from holding a particular patch of parkland, to spreading the message of economic justice, and signing more people up for the push to restore the balance to American society. Now from the start, we've said that a long-term encampment is not sustainable in City Hall Park. This is true for reasons of public health, this is true for reasons of public safety, and for the security of the encampment itself. And politically for you. It's time to close the park and repair the grounds so that we can restore public access to the park. Today, I am announcing that City Hall Park will close on Monday, November 28th at 12.01 a.m. Mic check. The General Assembly's response to the City of Los Angeles. Para todos, todo. Para nosotros, nada. For everyone, everything. For us, nothing. As a collective, Occupy Los Angeles would like to express the rejection of the City of Los Angeles' alleged proposal that we leave City Hall by November 28, 2011 in exchange for an apparently now rescinded offer of a 10,000 square foot building, farmland, and 100 SRO beds for the homeless. And there is more response and people have it. If you'd like to know it, Mayor, then I can let to share it with you. What happened to the 72 hour notice? Thank you. We're asking the participants in the Occupy LA encampment to begin to pack their belongings and to leave City Hall Park in an orderly manner. I'm proud of the fact that this has been a peaceful, nonviolent protest. It has been peaceful because we decided to do things differently here in Los Angeles. We've not stared each other down across barricades and barbed wire. From the start, we've talked with one another and we've listened. To each other. You haven't talked to the General Assembly. I trust that we can manage the closure of City Hall Park in the same spirit of cooperation. To facilitate a peaceful and orderly departure from the park, we will take the following steps. One, officers with the General Services Police Department will walk through the encampment, handing out bilingual fires with information about the park closure. Two, Social workers will also walk through the encampment to inform people about social and public health services that are available. Three, starting Monday, we will make 50 shelter beds available for those individuals from the encampment who are homeless and will need an alternative place to spend the night. We will make nearby parking available to make it easier for people to move their belongings and their personal property. Finally, we will honor the spirit of free expression embodied by Occupy LA and keep Spring Street steps open during the rehabilitation of City Hall Park. These steps have traditionally been the place that Angelinos have gathered to exercise their fundamental right to free speech. We will keep these steps open so that the participants of Occupy LA and other groups of Angelinos continue to have access to this vital forum. Now we've worked hard and 
will continue to work hard to ensure that this chapter will be known as the peaceful, nonviolent event that reminded our city of these essential truths. We cannot and we must not neglect social justice. We can't turn a blind eye to the growing economic inequality in our midst. And we must make sure that all of our fellow residents have the opportunity to use their God-given talents to succeed in our society. Thank you very much. I'll have the Chief make a few comments as well. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to echo the Mayor's positive comments about the Occupy LA uh, protesters. They have uh, been law-abiding, by and large. They have been respectful, by and large. And they have made this 56-day occupation of the South and the North Lawn something that the city has been able to deal with in a way. But that way is now over. After 56 days of not enforcing three of the city laws that prohibit the use of that park, the time is now. Mike check. The purpose of our communication is constructive. We, the people, have peaceably assembled in public space, seeking at minimum a full redress of grievance for the government's criminal mistreatment of the people and fraudulent abdication of fiduciary responsibilities in large part to the interests of exploitative corporations and weaponized banks. One more piece, Chief. Elements within City Hall and the police, which we know to be fused with so-called homeland security, have said that they want to help us find an exit strategy. In fact, we the people are in the process of opening up a window of opportunity, i.e. an exit strategy for our public servants who desire a way out of the high corruption that we have allowed our governments to become. This includes public servants acting in good faith under difficult pressures, as well as those deeply disloyal to the spirit of their oaths and to the lives, liberties, and general welfare of we the people. There is more, and the people can have access to it, and you, Chief, can read it if you want. Today is merely the realization that the encampment is no longer sustainable and must end. It must end in order to rehabilitate the park, in order to maintain public safety, in order to maintain public health standards. That does not mean that Occupy's message must end. The mayor has made the uh, west steps of City Hall available. It will continue to be available, and I think it's time for Occupy to grow its message in a different medium. Chief, at 12.01 on Monday, uh, what mayor, plans mayor. of action do you plan on taking then at 12.01? 12.01 is, uh, is the date certain that the Los Angeles Police Department uh, will enforce the laws against camping uh, on, uh, uh, in City Hall Park. Now, that does not mean that we will physically remove people at 12.01. What that means is that after 12.01, we have the ability to reach to enforce the law, which we have, by our, uh, through our own volition, not enforced for the past 56 days. But we want to do two things. We want to make sure that there is ample time for the Occupy LA people to move their stuff, to clear their tents, take their, their property off the city hall lawn so that my officers don't have to do that. But we also want to make sure that, the, that some of the uh, homeless individuals, especially the shelter-resistant homeless that have encamped with Occupy LA, get every opportunity to take advantage of the 50 beds that the mayor has opened up, soon to be followed by another 50 later in the week. So it's really important to do this on two fronts. Why weren't they already opened up if you have them? to make sure that people have the ability and the time to move out that are, that are the protesters, and two, that we take advantage of this opportunity to put people into shelter. Mayor Viragosa, um, we add, have I'll, been, I'll, excuse me. I'll allow uh, members of the press to ask questions. I uh, will take questions from members of the press. Mayor Viragosa, Mayor Viragosa Pacifica Viragosa, Radio, you know, KPFK. Yeah, there was a now. member of the press was speaking to you, Mayor. I'm wondering, I'm wondering. Pretty um, rude why you decided to engage in, in talks um, and reportedly offers of office space and other things with the protesters and, and why you abandoned that strategy. From the beginning, I have said, that, I, and I said, and I started out today, I think very clearly acknowledging uh, that the Occupy movement to shed a light uh, on an issue that, frankly, Americans are grappling with every single day. 
and that is uh, the disappearing middle class, the growing inequities between wealth and poverty, uh, the growing concentration of wealth in a nation known for the American dream. Uh, from the beginning, we made it clear uh, that we wanted to engage uh, these people, and we have. Uh, we've talked with them, talked with them, and talked with them. You have never addressed the General Assembly. Do not lie to us, please. I won't, uh, I won't speak to specific proposals. I'll only say uh, that the, the, the one that you mentioned right now uh, is not uh, our proposal. Uh, it was uh, something that was proposed. Uh, I uh, said uh, that I couldn't accept it. Uh, and, but that didn't mean that we didn't want to provide an alternative uh, that would help to sustain uh, the points, the, the ideas that uh, these people have been uh, shedding a light on. So what we're saying is they will have an opportunity on the spring steps uh, to protest, uh, but they will do they will do so within under a specific Mayor Virgo, from uh -huh. Margaret Prescott, Pacifica Radio, KPFK. Okay. Pacifica Radio. Um, one question has to be, have information that not all members of council knew that you were making this announcement today. Standing behind you, we see law enforcement, we don't see members of council. Also, your political career was helped in part by the movements of Martin Luther King, Cesar Chavez, Dolores Huerta, and others, as well as labor unions that are standing strongly. Uh, if you let me finish, you'll, you'll, I asked one already, this is number two. Where are yeah, members of council? Me, Did they know that you were making this announcement? And secondly, one question at a time, okay. please. Thank you very much. Uh, on the question of who uh, is making this decision, let me be absolutely clear. That wasn't my question. I Members making, of council were informed about this, this today, and where are they? I am making this decision, and I have informed uh, the appropriate, uh, I've informed other members of the city council, but this is a decision. Were all made. members of council informed? This is a decision the mayor makes, and I've made it. I didn't ask who made the decision. I, I asked who was informed. You. I shared with you my answer. Any other questions? Yes, mayor. Violation of rights. Mayor? <laughs> Jeff Norman from the Huffington Post. Would you consider uh, speaking to a coalition of veterans groups and about the possibility of providing them with office space and farmland and so forth? Absolutely. I, uh, I, uh, I've said from the beginning, uh, we uh, farmland, uh, I support urban gardens. I don't take issue with uh, urban gardens in Los Angeles. By the way, so that we understand, I was the one uh, when private owner uh, in South LA uh, took away those 14 acres of urban land. I provided nine acres in South LA uh, for uh, those farmers. I go and visit the farm uh, all the time. Uh, I encourage you all to visit because it's, it's clear to me that uh, not enough members, even of the media, even knew that. Uh, there are now nine acres of uh, urban farmland in Watts uh, that we provided uh, not to long after uh, they were evicted by that private landlord. Uh, we have made it an absolute priority in this city to do that, and we'll continue to do that. So if there are veterans groups or other groups who are interested in that, or uh, the folks uh, protesting here, we'd be more than happy to Yes, South Central Farm should be back in the people's hands. How long are all of the Occupy folks being given to remove their items if 1201 is a deadline but not a deadline? No, How no, long? No, no. Let's be clear. Uh, it is, uh, we are informing today that as of 1201, uh, at any time after that, uh, we will enforce uh, the curfew. Selectively. And at uh, that parkland, and we will enforce the law selectively uh, here in City Hall. We, we're making that absolutely clear. What we're not going to do is discuss uh, the exact moment uh, that uh, the police uh, will uh, you are know, you prepared to address make that just are because that's not something that... Are you prepared to make arrests, he's asking? Oh, let me be clear about something. Uh, we, 
we are prepared to make arrests, but that's not our intention. That's why we're giving people as much time uh, as they can. Look, uh, it took a couple of hours to put up these tents. It only takes a couple hours to take them down. Uh, I think we've all been camping in our life. Uh, we know how, how long it takes to put up a tent, uh, and if they, if uh, we made it clear, but we're going to, we're also going to provide enough time uh, to Absolutely. continue to provide to provide the bed, the beds for those who are homeless who don't have alternatives. Uh, to, uh, to you think 50 is going to do that? Can, uh, to a lot of people are homeless. The banks are foreclosing continuously. Enough time to be able to do this. Will you support divesting from the banks? Uh, Mr. Mayor, Mr. Mayor, can you tell us how uh, Fox 11? Can you tell us how you actually arrived at the 12:01 a.m. Monday? By your own admission here, you said it only took a couple hours. So why not enforce that as of tonight, as opposed to then? And there was earlier talk about a three-day. We're now at 55 hours. Yeah. Well, it's very important, first of all, to, to pick a, time, a date and time certain, so that, that people will know. Uh, when they have to make their preparations by. But we want to be flexible. I want to be flexible. I want to make sure that I have given everybody the most reasonable opportunity possible to leave peaceable. I want to make sure that I have given everybody that, that will take a shelter the opportunity to do so. So I'm not going to, and the mayor is not going to say at 1201 that we're going to start making arrests because I don't know how well we have, we'll have done in these efforts by then. And I want to make sure that when we do make arrests, and we will if we have to, that it is the people that won't go, not the people that haven't had time or can't go. So was my the LAPD then that, that made the suggestion that the mayor accepted on the deadline? Kate, and I'm going to answer that question. Yeah. I mean, is what was the question? Wait. Wait, what was the question? What was the question? Are, is tear gas, rubber bullets, look, are those we're, we're going to use, look, the goal here, and that's why we're giving people is to do this as peacefully as possible, to honor uh, the experience that we've had up to now. This has been a good experience in the sense that people have, been, have had a right to protest. They've, they've been vigorous about that right. It's inherent. Uh, but uh, we've also had to make arrests uh, in the course of these days, and we've done it in a way that I think both the occupiers and uh, the, the residents of this city feel have, have been responsible and, and in a professional manner. A lot of people we'll say they won't be. We will continue to do it that way. You, know, you, you, you work, and, and, and I understand that, you, you want to make news. We're not going to make news for you. What we're going to do... Violation of people's rights is news. I'm sorry, in case you didn't know that. this in a way that's respected, uh, but that's also very clear. Will you support the move of some council members to divest from Bank of America and other banks? Well, I, I think that uh, I think that, that we've talked about why we haven't been enforcing the, uh, the, the park hours. It's because this is a national movement. This is a national movement that uh, the, uh, the city of Los Angeles wanted to accommodate as best it could. And it is my belief and the mayor's belief that we have done that. We have been reasonable. We have given 56 days during which uh, this movement could put forth its message uh, in, a, in a public park, which, by the way, nobody else has been able to use in that, during that time frame. Yeah. And that's fine. Why didn't you come to negotiate with us then, me, Chief? Please, please let me, why? Will you please let me finish on the answer? Okay. And so we want to be able to restore that public park. We want to be able to make sure that the city of Los Angeles is safe. We want to ensure that public health is maintained as best we can. And, and the time is now. The time is right to do and, and let, me be clear, let me be clear that um, this was a collective decision, it was a decision that I made, uh, but it was in consultation with the chief, uh, with the general services, uh, with the record parks, with the broad cross-section of people. But ultimately, uh, I take full responsibility uh, for the course of action that we've taken up to now and that we will take going forward. Uh, which is why uh, I've been very clear. Uh, we'll give at 1201. Uh, people know they have now uh, 
time until then. Uh, and after that, uh, we made it very clear that any time after that, uh, there, uh, you know, we, we will we will enforce uh, these uh, laws at this point. On the banks or um, this week there is we are live and I want to make sure yes. that I've answered as many of you. Regarding what? I don't think you're live, right? We are. We we are live too. Oh, Regarding the kids camp, I'm going to just ask you a question about the kids. I would like to, I'm with Stephanie Abrams with KCBS and KCAL. Sure. Regarding the kids camp down at Occupy LA, there are a lot of people down there who say they are willing to, once they get notice, leave peaceably. They're afraid of a, a type of raid. And they said they need a minimum of 72 hours. If come 1201, uh, they're not able to collect all their belongings and all the children's toys and all of the food, how will you be handling these families? I think I've been very, very clear. Come 1201, if there are people that still need a reasonable amount of time or, or a reasonable ability to get to the shelter or uh, to get their goods moved, then we'll give them that. You know, I am uh, uh, very, very interested in maintaining uh, not only the momentum, the peaceful momentum that has been mutual between the Los Angeles Police Department and the Occupy LA folks, but I want to make sure that, that we show that the city of Los Angeles knows how to do it. That this is a city that, that realizes the importance of the First Amendment and has a police department and a mayor and a council that supports it. Ahora voy a hacer algunas palabras en español. Um, y gracias por su paciencia, pero como dije, uh, esta conferencia estaba uh, en viva y quería dar respeto a los televidentes que estaba uh, tirando uh, esta rueda de prensa. El movimiento de Occupy despertó la conciencia del país, les dio una voz a muchos que no habían sido escuchados, a las familias que están luchando para ganarse la vida, a los estudiantes que se graduaron, tenían muy poca posibilidad de encontrar empleo, a los dueños de casas que perdieron sus hogares y ahorros, y es ahora de que Occupy LA pasa a de habitar un espacio de parque, a llevar el mensaje de la justicia económica a más personas en el país. Desde el principio hemos dicho que un campamento a largo plazo no es sostenible en el ayuntamiento municipal, por razones de salud pública, seguridad pública y la seguridad del propio campamento. Es hora de cerrar el parque y de pararlo para que nuevo haya acceso público al parque. Hoy anuncio que el parque en el Ayuntamiento Municipal estará cerrado el lunes 28 de noviembre a las 12 y 1 de la mañana. Les pedimos a los del campamento que empiecen a empacar sus pertenencias y abandonen el parque. Estoy orgulloso de que esta protesta ha sido pacífica y no violenta. Para facilitar una salida pacífica y ordenada, vamos a seguir estos pasos. Uno, oficiales del Departamento de Policía de Servicio General repartirá volantes con información bilingüe sobre el cierre del parque. Dos, trabajadores sociales del condado de la ciudad de Los, de, de los Ángeles informará a la gente acerca de los servicios sociales que están disponibles. Tercero, a partir del lunes tendremos 50 camas en el albergues disponibles para las personas del campamento que no tengan hogar y que necesitan donde pasar la noche. Cuatro, habrá estacionamiento disponible cerca del parque para que puedan mover sus pertenencias. Por último, Vamos a mantener los escalones en la calle Spring abiertos como espacio para la libre expresión. Hemos trabajado muy duro para asegurar que este momento se recuerde como algo pacífico que nos recordó de algo muy importante. No podemos y no debemos olvidarnos de la justicia social. Si hay preguntas en español... Alcalde, ¿hay preocupación de que se repitan los, lo que ha sucedido en Oakland y en otros sitios al desalojar los lugares? ¿Cómo se va a controlar esa situación? Mira, 
hemos tratado de seguir un camino muy diferente de otras ciudades. La verdad es la gran mayoría de los angelinos entienden muy bien que tenemos respeto. Y empecé este discurso diciendo que tenemos respeto con los logros de este movimiento. Al mismo tiempo, de este principio he dicho que estar capa, eh, tener un campamento en el ayuntamiento municipal no es sostenible indefinitivamente. De este principio he dicho que hasta este movimiento quiere seguir por otro camino ah, y ah, estamos dando a ah, ese movimiento otro camino ah, en darles ah, los escalones de Spring Street. Estamos diciendo que recuerdes que el ayuntamiento municipal es el área donde todos pueden venir, los que, están, eh, los que están en acuerdo con el gobierno y los que no están en, eh, en acuerdo. Hasta este momento ellos no han te tenido acceso al ayuntamiento y esos escalones. Mike Check, para todos, todo, para nosotros, nada. Y al fin, uh, creo que la gran mayoría de la gente entiende, um, como dijo la compañera, yo estoy aquí porque había un movimiento de derechos civiles, uh, un, un movimiento que abrió la sociedad para un un alcalde llamado Antonio Villarragosa. Al mismo tiempo, yo tengo la responsabilidad de asegurar uh, que uh, ellos y otros tienen la, el derecho de expresarse, pero al mismo tiempo que tenemos el orden, uh, que tenemos, protegemos la, la propiedad privada y pública y que, uh, que entendemos muy bien que también tenemos una responsabilidad para la salud pública y la seguridad pública.